president, Link had started the day at City Point. And once he found out that Petersburg had fallen, he decided he wanted to come in and see the city for himself. He got on a train at City Point, eventually transferring onto the U.S. Military Railroad. They landed at Hancock Station down off of Jerusalem Plank Road, which today is Crater Road. And General Grant allowed him to use his horse Cincinnati to ride the rest of the way. They eventually arrived to this house at the corner of Market and Brown Street. The home here belonged to a man named Thomas Wallace, who President Lincoln was acquainted with. They were allies in the Whig Party. Thomas Wallace seemed very gracious when the president arrived. However, his son Russell, not so much. Um, I should mention also, when the president arrived, his son Tad was with him. And Tad, he was about to turn 12 years old the next day. He had gotten a little fidgety, and some folks were trying to get Russell to go out and spend some time with the boy. And he wasn't quite as gracious as his father, we'll say that. And he ended up running out to the back and hiding in the tobacco shed. When the president arrived, General Grant was already here. And when the general saw the president approaching, he got up from the porch, went out, shook his hand, and they had decided to apparently hold the meeting out on the porch. Thomas Wallace, again, being the southern gentleman he was, and he decided to go in the house and bring out a high-backed wooden chair for the president to sit in. And that's what he did. And the, and the chair still exists. Family members, descendants of Thomas Wallace still own that chair. They were hoping while they were here that they would get some confirmation about whether or not Richmond had fallen. That didn't happen. About an hour and a half after the president arrives, he decides to leave and heads on his way to go visit, see if he could visit some other people in the area that he knew.